Good morning. Wake up. It's Vape AM, brought to you by Vapors1.com. I'm Anthony Ramella. All right, guys. Uh, well, today we got a few more things to talk about. Another fun day of news. This just never seems to end. Uh, today I'm drinking my Diet Dew like I always am. Got to get that caffeine to get up in the morning, so uh, it's definitely a necessity. Uh, I got my Puma out today. My Puma with my Falcon. It just kind of seems like a... I wonder how many different animals we're going to name vaping devices after. Why do we always do that? Why do we always name stuff after animals? I don't know. Uh, next thing you know, it'll be named after people. Like, it'll be the Matt Mod and the Bob Tank. But, you know, I digress. Anyway, uh, just some fun stuff this morning. Anyway, oh, uh, I've got Squeezy in here uh, today. This is the super good flavor. Um, I really like this quite a bit. It has been around for a little while. I know Vapor uh, 1.com and all the Vapor stores still carry this flavor. Squeezy, super good. It's like a raspberry watermelon candy flavor. It's actually really, really good. I like the sweet stuff, especially in the morning. Okay, well, uh, like we do every day, we're going to go ahead and do a Today in History thing here. Um, I kind of went along with uh, something that's been popular lately, this uh, Florida man craze that's out there. Um, so, Today in History, a Florida man kills a co-worker over how much spice to put in the gumbo. I guess these two guys uh, worked together for some time. Uh, the article actually went on to say that they used to be roommates. But uh, one day, they were in the kitchen cooking and making gumbo, and one of them said it should have this much spice, and the other one didn't, and uh, ended up turning out that one guy stabbed the other one. So thank you, Florida, for always having great news for us to talk about. Wow, holy crap. All right, anyway, uh, we got some birthdays for today, uh, some pretty good ones today. Um, so we've got uh, William Shakespeare. Uh, today is his birthday, so uh, quite the poet, quite the uh, writer. Uh, a little Romeo and Juliet and all that good action with him. Uh, we also have Jamie King, if you're unfamiliar with her. She's a uh, pretty attractive actress. Uh, she turns 39 today. Actually, when I saw that, I was kind of surprised. Jamie King does not look 39, so looking good today, Jamie. And uh, then last but certainly not least would be Valerie Bertinelli. Uh, she turns 58 today. Uh, I don't know, maybe if you guys know this, she used to be married to Eddie Van Halen, um, and she also used to be a sitcom star. So uh, Valerie, still looking pretty good. Uh, I know she was on one of those big weight loss things, uh, programs and stuff, lost some weight, but she looks really good. So keep taking it one day at a time there, Valerie. Uh, anyway, so uh, don't want to keep you guys too long this morning. We're going to get on to some new stuff here. So it's time for the Wake and Vape News. Uh, first story we're going to talk about today is out of Maryland. Uh, it looks like October the 1st, Maryland will implement a law that will require you to be 21 to buy vape products, even if they're nicotine free, which I'm not, I really don't quite understand that. Uh, if the vape products are nicotine free, then what's the issue? I mean, I could go and buy all these other products if I was under the age of 21. But uh, yeah, that's going to go into effect on October the 1st. I'll have Drew throw a link down in the bottom so you can get some more information about that. Uh, one of the biggest things the article talked about is that uh, some of the vape shops will probably have to close because of the clientele. That's just going to be too big of a hit for them. Uh, some vapers that are in that 18 to 20 age group who have, have quit smoking or have decided to use vaping as an alternative way to get their nicotine uh, have even talked about moving to a different state uh, because they know they're not going to be able to get their uh, nicotine that they won't. Uh, it probably won't do a damn thing to stop uh, teenagers from getting their hands on this product because the 18 law hasn't stopped that, so I don't really know why the 21 law would do that. Um, and as part of the article, uh, there's a uh, little clip that they put in here. Julia Chen Sankey, it's Chen uh, by uh, Sankey, two different words there with the apostrophe in the middle, is a postdoctoral fellow with the National Institutes of Health. And she says that while researching her dissertation at the University of Maryland, she found that sweet vape flavors can act as a gateway to other tobacco products for young users, which I totally don't believe. I can't believe anyone would go from something this delicious and sweet to trying a tobacco product that just tastes awful. And the other thing she had on here is that high school students make up the largest group of vape users in the United States, with sweet flavors like fruits and desserts being the most popular among young users. And I got to call BS on that as well. I can't believe that, that high school students are the biggest vapers in the country, all right? This is just some bad information. This is just some really bad information. And if she's doing this as her doctorate, I think she should get a failing grade on that because she's getting her information from a bad place. Like, both of those statements are really untrue. Um, so, sorry, Marilyn, but it uh, looks like you're going to 21 uh, years old for your vape products uh, coming October. So, um, 
I don't know what you're going to do about that. Uh, the, the problem is I've never actually seen any research to back up anything that she was talking about. So I can't really believe that she knows what, what you know, she is using there for her research. I'd, I'd like to get some more information on that. So second story today kind of falls right along with the Maryland thing, but this one is a little bit worse. Um, I wrote the title of this as looks like it's going to be 21 and done. So a lot of states have been adopting this uh, tobacco 21 thing where you have to get 21 years old to purchase tobacco products. Well, now it looks like the federal government is jumping on the bandwagon here and uh, it looks like the National Tobacco 21 law uh, has now been introduced uh, to the Senate by the majority leader of the Senate, Mitch uh, McConnell, who is a Republican. Um, I really believe this is going to be a turning point for these laws. I think with having uh, a Republican, especially the majority leader, who is pushing this bill through, it's probably going to have a lot of weight behind it. And I would su uh, suspect probably here really soon that we're going to see a Tobacco 21 law that goes federal. So, guys, I hate to say this, but uh, I told you. It was coming. Um, if you haven't been contacting your representatives, if you haven't been talking about this with smokers and non-smokers alike, it, it's your own fault. Uh, I can't say that I haven't brought this up enough to us. So uh, the worst part about this was Mitch McConnell had said that the uh, state tobacco 21 laws uh, will serve as a helpful uh, guideline as uh, he needs to craft his federal lesig, les les whatever that is, federal laws that he's going to put into effect. I can't talk this morning. But, uh, for example, the bill would actually include an exemption for men and women who serve in uniform uh, would not be subject to these uh, Tobacco 21 laws. So, basically, I think the worst part about this is I feel like he's saying that if you're mature enough to make the decision that fighting for your country is the thing to do, then you can go ahead and, and use these products, uh, you know, cigarettes or vape products, both. But if you're not mature enough to make that decision and know that's the right thing to do, then you need to wait till 21. So I, I just think it's a really bad precedent to set uh, on that, but you know, that's what he wants to do. So this is basically gonna abandon all adults that are younger than 21 who have already made the switch to vaping or that have, uh, are using cigarettes. We'd like to see everybody stop using the cigarettes and switch to vaping, but this is gonna basically blanket everybody. Uh, in the article, it also said that 12 states and the District of Columbia and more than 450 uh, cities have passed laws restricting tobacco sales to uh, anyone under the age of 21. So this has already been pretty well you know, sent out there with a bunch of places, and it looks like they're going to make this a law through the Senate. So if you don't know much information about that, I'll have Drew throw a link down there at the bottom so you can actually see that. Uh, the other bill that's going through the House right now, the Reversing the Youth uh, Tobacco Epidemic Act, which uh, has one of those great names that how would anyone want to oppose that because we want our kids to stop using this, even though there are already laws in place that say you can't use it if you're under 18, but uh, they're gonna spend time with this anyway. Uh, this would also ban flavors and online sales. Um, so that's a big issue with that particular act as well. I don't know how they're going to be able to keep the online sales from, from happening. And I've even some, seen some of these bills where they're like, well, we know we can't control the online. Well, then why put it in there anyway? You know, um, so if you don't know about this stuff, you definitely need to get informed. Uh, but it looks like Tobacco 21 is probably going to hit uh, federal uh, pretty soon here. So uh, I talked about this yesterday a little bit, but there is a uh, petition to sign uh, for banning flavors in California. Basically saving the flavors is what we're trying to do. Uh, Grim brought this up on his Instagram page, and I think it's really important that we all get on there and at least put our name on this position, especially if you use fruit flavors. Uh, we want to help out everybody, and you don't have to live in California to sign the petition. They just want to know, hey, how many people out there actually use flavors? And this will be an easy way for you to do that. We'll make sure uh, if, if, you, if we don't get a description in today's episode, just look at tomorrow or yesterday's. Uh, there's a uh, one in that one as well. So I got to get going. Uh, I got to get to work. Got to get in the shower. Got to get things done. But uh, I'm going to keep coming to you guys every day. New news, new news, new news. Stop smoking. You're going to die. Uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, VaporsOne.com, for allowing us to continue to do these shows uh, because we really feel like it's important. You know, we're not here just to get your money. We want you to stop smoking. If that means getting your nicotine level down to the point where you just quit totally, we're on board with that. And that's what we want to happen. So I got to get in the shower. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. See ya. Get off the cancer sticks. Vaping flavors is nice. You won't think twice. Get down to vapors quick. If you got a big mod or a tiny wick, get off the cancer sticks. Vaping flavors is nice, you won't think twice.